911. What's the address in the city of your emergency? Hi, I, I was to the boring at Northbrook Park, and I was following someone on the trail, and I think I took the wrong turn. And I think I'm, I'm not going to be able to get out before the sunset. Again, it was cold. I was wondering if you can stand uh, on and be on snowmobiles. Okay, okay. My name is Kyle Nordforce. I am the drone team coordinator for Weber County Search and Rescue. When the search and rescue team is first called out, the first big struggle, of course, is finding the people that we're searching for. Back years ago, search started off with us receiving a call out. Then we would show up to the scene. We might have a place last seen and some sketchy uh, information about where the patient was. And then we would start to assemble our search based on um, pen and paper search theory. We uh, had an application for Kyle Nordford to join our team and in 2018 we brought him on board and to be honest at the time we felt like we were behind the curve when it came to drones and we quickly changed that around with Kyle's help and we are one of the leading search and rescue groups in the nation right now for using drones. In times past, it used to take us hours and hours, if not days, to find the people that we were searching for. But with today's technology, that time is being cut in half and we're finding them a lot faster. Uh, we found out very quickly uh, the value of what a drone can do to a search and rescue team and it ha how it helps in so many aspects. Uh, we discovered that our searches uh, were being cut in half and the rescue times were being cut in half. And now we've evolved to we can go from the place last seen or a ping from a cell phone and launch the drones. And in many cases, we find our patient via drone and then the search and rescue team or my team can just go out and execute the rescue. Uh, the greatest example we have is one of our most recent searches was a snowboarder up in North Fork that went missing. To the uh, north gate over here um, at the North Fork Park and I went about three miles in and I was feeling pretty good that day, so I thought I'll do another mile. I understand. Do you know what trail? Because there's a lot of trails that kind of come up of North Fork Park. Uh, do you have any idea where um, it went up? Which one? And my location is jumping around. I don't think you can catch it correctly. But um, south of Cutler Springs, about halfway up, and he stated that he was lost. When we tried to reach back to him, we had no cell signal anymore. We couldn't make contact. So we had a general area. The teams arrived at the parking area or the command center area and was set up. And within 10 minutes, drone had location on him. Uh, so at first, the drone was really high. And I wasn't sure if, if he really seen me at that time. So I started waving a little bit just to try to make myself more visible. After a while, the, the drone started uh, lowering its height a little bit, and that's when I knew that it actually see me. So I felt a little bit of relief, you know, knowing that I was actually found. After that, uh, teams were sent out, and with the drone on scene, there's no more guesswork on where this guy is. They knew exactly where he was because the drone was directly above the missing person. And so drone, or the ret ski teams and the Stoneville teams got to him fairly quickly. The drone went one step further and started plotting out the way out for everybody. We knew that it wasn't safe to go back up the mountain, so we had to find a way out. And the drone start team started working on possible ways down the mountain. And we were able to plot that into a, a program that we use and were able to send that to everybody's phones. So now everybody up on the mountain could look at the phone and see the route that the, map, that the drone had plotted for them to get off the mountain. It's safe to say that drones are saving lives on a daily basis. Platforms like the DJI M300 and the M30 are enabling first responders to get to those in need a lot faster. What this does is that it makes the rescues a lot more efficient and thus making the search and rescue efforts a lot safer for the rescuers as well. So it's time and time again that we're evolving with this program, we're finding new ways to use it, and it's just simply awesome on what it's doing for Weaver County Search and Rescue.